Welcome to Document Information Extraction Service with SAP Business One. This demonstration shows you how to work with Document Information Extraction Service through its integration with SAP Business One. Document Information Extraction Service is from a family of AI business services hosted by the SAP Business Technology Platform. The overall integration solution includes SAP Business One, Electronic Document Service, Document Information Extraction Service, as well as folders for file processing. The workflow starts in the folder with the original document. The file is transferred to Document Information Extraction Service using Electronic Document Service. Electronic Document Service also transfers the processing results to SAP Business One and to the dedicated processed folder. To set up Document Information Extraction Service, we start in the SAP Business Technology Platform where the service is hosted. If everything is set up correctly, you can see the relevant instance of Document Information Extraction Service and the related service key in the section Instances and Subscriptions. Service key data are needed as inputs for document settings in SAP Business One to establish a connection between the application and document information extraction service. The credentials from the service key should be specified in SAP Business One in the administration module. We need to correctly specify the connection details, including the path to the folder for the original documents for Windows and Linux, which is used as a starting point in the process. The process starts with electronic document service, which must be up and running. The respective setup needs to be completed and set to the status Auto. Electronic document service monitors the folder for new files to process. In this example, we copy two files into the monitored folder to see the whole process in detail. When a new file is identified, the file is taken and provided to Document Information Extraction Service for processing. Electronic Document Service monitors the results of the processing and if this is done, takes the result and does two things. Saves the result to the SAP Business One database to table ECM8 saves the processed file with a UUID added to the name to the folder processed. In SAP Business One, we can go to AP Purchasing and then to Electronic Documents Import Wizard. Electronic Document Import Wizard is dedicated to the import of documents in an electronic form. In the first step, we define the protocol and check the predefined settings for the specific document type to be imported, including the Electronic File Manager mapping file. 
We select the Document Information Extraction Service Protocol and go to step two of the wizard. Here we can see the processed files and define the selection criteria for further processing, as well as the basic information about the processed files. The next step of the wizard processes the file data, matching to the business partner, items, and the base documents. We can see the processed files have their respective statuses. The business partner, items, and base documents are identified for the documents. On this screen, it is possible to visualize the source file via the golden arrow link next to the federal tax ID. You can compare, at an early stage of the document creation, the basic information from the source document and in the system. We can see that the document also includes information about the original base document. The base document number can be checked, or you can assign another base document. Alternatively, you can even clear the proposed base document if necessary. The last step in the process creates a draft from the data that is visible in the wizard. The documents appear in the electronic documents monitor as well as in the draft report. You can check and eventually create the document even from the electronic documents monitor. You can check and eventually add the draft document in the standard way. In the Purchasing module, Purchasing Report, Document Draft Report, you can see the created drafts and identify the specific imported files based on the information that is visible in the respective fields. You can also open the draft document to see the values therein. On top of that, the imported source document has been attached. So if you display it, you can compare the amounts with the values on the invoice window. You can compare the totals, tax, quantity, the same items and the same vendor. In this scenario, it is visible that the system proposed a base document automatically, as it was not available on the original document. However, the values on the AP invoice reflect the values on the incoming original document. The adding of the document concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching and goodbye.